All right. Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Leo and this is Dr. Sin and we're here, we're physical therapists here at ReadyCare Physical Therapy. Uh, we're here to show you uh, why you should do exercises every day and why it's good for you. Tell us why, why you exercise every day. Uh, for to remain healthy and to strong my muscles and to ref refresh my I brain. Notice where, you know, the, the, I find myself with exercises is that not only you exercise now not for the uh, long-term goals but there is a, a very immediate short-term goal as well. So when you exercise, you you find yourself very refreshed afterwards, and you feel more productive. As you get older, you yes. become we become more sedentary, and we we starting to sit a lot more, lie in the bed a lot more, and it's not really good for us. So here are the ten exercise, ten minute exercises that I want you guys to do, at least try to do every day. Um, Dr. Singh will uh, present you guys with two first two exercises. The first one is called sit to stand exercise. So it's all you have to do. You're going to be sitting on a chair or a table like this with your knee angle around 90 degrees and what you're going to do, you're going to push up from the table or chair and try to stand up straight and you're again for reach, for sitting down you're going to be reaching the table sitting down and All sit right, so down. How do you make this exercise harder for someone who finds this really easy? For that one you, you can avoid taking the support so put your hands like there and try to do stand up okay and sit down to make it more harder you can like do like this Position your hand like on your shoulders, try to stand up and sitting down. And adding to the variable, you can narrow your base of support. It's, it's going to be good for your balance and try yeah. to do the same thing. Stand, stand up. Okay. And sit down. And for someone with, uh, who's using an assistive device, you recommend leaving it in the front or what do you recommend? That's going to be a good idea too because just in case if they lose their balance, they have something to hold on. So what okay. they can do, stand up and hold on to the walker and try to stand straight Okay. and reach sit down so we, they, it's an important component to reach for the table first both hands and sit down okay like and you should probably do this exercise for about two minutes rest as needed and again if you have pain you don't have to hold on to these exercises uh, let's show the second one the second one Just is the called one the standing us. marching Yeah. for that one you're going to be standing within the base of your walker all you have to do March in place. Make sure you're holding onto your walker and try to do 10 reps each leg. So if you're count, counting like one, this should be one, two, two, and so on. And if you're not using walker, what you can do, you can stand still and you can march in place like that. One, one, two, two, three, three, and so on. And you can repeat, do the same exercise for about two minutes and the reps as required and take the break in between if you want to take it. And the next three exercises, Dr. Patrick is going to show you to you. All right, so the, the next exercise is called single leg stance and is what the name suggests. Uh, you're going to stand on one leg, okay? So if you don't use a walker, you don't have to use it. All you got to do is just stand on one leg, hold for about 30 seconds, and then switch. Okay, you want to do that about... Uh, two times, two sets. So 30 seconds, if you do it two sets, it will add up to about so two minutes. So what if you're not able to hold your balance for 30 seconds? If you, can, if, you can, if you can hold on for 30 seconds, I would recommend hold on to it one hand on a walker or give it a, or put, a, put a few fingers on a walker and just try to balance yourself. The, the exercise should be challenging enough, but also safe. So try to, try to put your hands like this and this would be good. Next two exercises are going to be for the upper extremity. So what I noticed with the elderly population is that the shoulders started to slouch, and this can this can put some uh, some pressure on your lungs, and it can cause you uh, difficulty breathing. So the first one is called an open hug. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're just going to open up your chest like this, hold it for a couple seconds, and then come back and just hug yourself. Okay. You're just going to do that. It's very nice and easy. It should be very relaxing. Okay, just do that for about two minutes. The next exercise is the reaching for the sky. Again, like I said, the the, uh, the elderly population tend to slouch their shoulders. So if you reach for the sky, it automatically negates that posture. So you're gonna do that. Reach for the sky. Hold it for a couple seconds, and then come down and do that exercise for about two minutes. Um, that's it. Those are the five easy exercises, and that should take about uh, 10 minutes. Uh, do you have anything you want to add, Dr. Singh? No, that'd be all. Uh, so, thanks, thanks for watching, and thanks for joining us.